General Chaudhary has called all officers to the, his uh, residence in the cantonment to interview them. They have already been screened and everybody had a dossier given to the general to see whether they should remain or they should be dismissed to the according to the uh, what they had done during the earlier period of the Razaka period. So the, uh, all the officers were there and the general was inside. His captain, Captain Pyarilal, ADC, was calling officers one by one. So then what he said, uh, Mr. Rai Janaki Prashad. Now I did not know that uh, Mr. need not be ready to try. But so a gentleman in Sherwani and with S cap, he got up. He was director of information at that time. I'm talking of 1948. So he got up. Captain Garrett said, no, 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 sir, not you. You go later. And nobody else rose, so he called somebody else, another officer. So he went and after that, he again said, Captain Carrera, he again got it. He says, why are you so impatient? I am not asking for Rai Lanti Prashad. He says, I am Rai Lanti Prashad. He says, but you, why are you dressed like a Muslim? With hair cap and uh, uh, Ajkan and this. He says, we all dress like this here. So that was <coughs> the first education for him and the general that uh, you will find people here who uh, uh, like this. The second instance happened with me uh, in our house. Uh, otherwise, you would know uh, Lakshmi, Lady Raj. She was one of our first friends in India, in Hyderabad. And she was in and out. And every time when she was going, she said, Khuda Hafiz. Khuda Hafiz. My mother was there. She said, one day she said, this woman who comes, is she a Hindu or Muslim? I said, she's a Hindu. She had that uh, go to and everything else. But uh, then she said, why does she say Buddha this? I said, uh, by the time we also had started saying Buddha this and uh, I said, uh, Everybody says they have to love so, so next time Lakshmi Devi Jai was going, she said, Kuda and my mother also said, Kuda So this is a sort of thing which catches on. And it has happened over the years. Now we don't find it so much because of the new generation. But uh, we came here in 58, and right up to, uh, let's say, uh, 1990 or so, it was uh, this sort of thing. After that, this uh, emigration on a large scale started uh, happening to America and uh, Saudi Arabia and so on and so forth. And uh, a new generation came up who doesn't uh, know Urdu, who the books, some of the Urdu books which the first generation of uh, migrants to America, they still read. But the children say, what is this language and Papa and so on that is happening? And so there is a crisis. But that is the uh, one, one last thing is, Anjaya, who was chief minister, he was he used to post about it. And I started with it as a six and a day a laborer in Arlen Factory. Then he became chief minister. So once there was a, a concert by Amit uh, Ravishanka and Alarak, Alarak was great there. So he was late. And the other concert started. I was there. And he said, you know, we have uh, things to do, so I'm late. I'm very sorry. But I am very glad that these two great uh, giants of Indian music, Pandit Ravi 
Shankar and Allah Hu Akbar and somebody whispered to him uh, everybody laughed like you did and uh, he said why are they laughing so is he said so he is not Allah Hu Akbar he is Allah Rakha he uh, said the same thing <laughs> and again they also laughed so this sort of thing I think also tells us a lot about history and goes into the making of uh, uh, history which uh, is the proper historians make difficult to read. So I hope uh, you will enjoy some of these books entirely of this type. <laughs>